Okay, so I decided to make a updated tutorial playlist for episode 2, considering the only tutorials available currently are by Mixus, which are really good tutorials, but the problem is they are kind of outdated and like all tutorials they get outdated really quick. So if I would make a simple video right now, it would probably end up being outdated really quick too. Considering lately there has been a lot of like route changes and new tricks. So first you need the source unpack, which you can find on the source ones wiki, which I will link below the video. Second, you probably want live split and use the auto splitter because it makes it so much easier and it cuts out loading times since the game is like all say source games timed in in-game time. So livesplit.org, that's where you get it. Then you just edit the splits and you type in half life two and you will get a drop down and it will show you. You select the correct things and that's basically it. From there on you just add your splits and you're good to go. Now, if you have inserted the source unpack for episode two, which is a separate one, so make sure you select the second one, it's the episodic unpack, which comes with episode one and episode two. You want to start the game and obviously you want to just set your graphic options, whatever you want, and it's run on easy. Set your mouse and all that stuff. So useful commands that are allowed. Basically everything that you can bind in the menu is allowed and there are some external commands that are allowed. For example, cl underscore, uh, underscore show pause one, which will make it so that in the top right corner, you can't see that right now because I'm not in game. You will see, actually let me show that. your velocity and your coordinates and all that stuff, which some people use for clips. It's not needed. It helps. It's like really nothing major, but yeah. So the second thing we want is we want to bind mouse M wheel up or down to plus jump. You can also bind both to plus jump. That's for our ABH when we just Keep jumping. So right before we land, we can jump. So we can do ABH and all that stuff. Something else that you might need is a reload command. So for that, you type a bind key of your choice and plus reload. Actually, no, it's just reload. No, not a plus reload, just reload. That will make it so if you Save delete, which is part of the route, and press the bind, it reloads the map from the start. You could also kill yourself, but that's a bit slower. Then that's just convenience. That's pretty much the closest you get to a script which is allowed. Like scripts are obviously not allowed, but this one is an exception. You can bind a key to save glitch and then semicolon and load glitch, or call it whatever you want. It's just my portal bindings. It's called safe glitch for me, so glitch. And maybe a bind that loads the safe on its own in, in case you mess up. Since this is not single segment only, like you are not forced to do single segment in this. And some tricks rely on that. So, okay. Next thing. New game, chapter one, skip the cutscene, and life split should also take care of that. The normal title card, and when the crosshair appears, that's when the timing starts, which would be around now. Life split should already start for you then, in this case. Okay, and that's pretty much the preparation that you need for episode two. In case I forget something, you can also bind a random key to toggle underscore duck. Makes it so that if you press it and then you jump, like you only tap the key, you don't have to hold it on. 
and then you jump, you stand up automatically. Do not replace your normal crouch key with that. That would be bad. It's useful. It's not it's not needed in this run. Let's say it like this. It's not needed, but some people like to use it for certain things like aviating, then transitioning into a standing AVH. That works without the toggle duck, but it's a bit easier with. Okay, so let's go right.